Do landlords provide anything of value to society? I respect the fact that my landlord has a place for me to live and work from home. He hasn't raised rates beyond a minimal 15 per year and I've been here four years. I think he's a good landlord and I appreciate that he hasn't hassled me that much despite me needing to get him to pay for repairs about once a year. Imagine being a seething millennial who doesn't respect small business landlords, unreal. What value do you provide to society, Anon? Back to anti work for you. Housing slash shelter is second only to food as the most important things for a person slash society. Property manager give a big enough workload is a valuable job. The mere act of owning is worthless. Moreover the real problem is the perks of renting, flexibility, low commitment, are not something most renters appreciate or even want. They're tied to a location anyway due to work and family and would much rather own their home if given the choice and means. No, homes are a place to raise a family, get a real job and pay your own mortgage. And we just let them own more than they need so they can elaborately hoard more and more at other people's expense while adding essentially nothing to the economy? Shouldn't we at least expect landlords to pay for the houses to be built? They provide the capital and take the risk of owning property and allow you to use it with a less risky investment. Not much different than someone who lets you rent their boat or even someone who drives you around in an Uber. Lol the issue is that I'm just not gonna rent. I know I know, I'm sorry but I'm just not renting lol. Yeah, I mean it's kinda acceptable among our generation, you know to stay in your parents' house. My girlfriend already lives with me so I already have sex and don't pay rent lol imagine land chuds when they realize I'm never going to pay them rent ha 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 ha. Landlords hate him, one simple easy trick to never pay rent again. Zoomers abroad are adopting this new money-saving trend. You wouldn't be asking that question if you went to Cuba where everyone gets free housing, the place looks like it's been bombed. A landlord takes on all the risk of home ownership. That's the service he provides. I'm a renter. Ceiling leaks? Not my problem. Toilets clogged? Not my problem. Chemical spill makes the area unlivable? I leave immediately at zero personal loss. Building burns down? I lose my 10k worth of random replaceable items which are insured, landlord loses a $5 million investment that might not even be fully insured. Value of building falls 20% so now he can only sell at a loss? Not my problem. Rent gets capped and property taxes go up? Not my problem. Landlord pays for insurance then charges you a premium. They indirectly hold the pores down. That's a massive benefit for the people in control. Rents due on the first rent cuck. No you can't do this. Property's value didn't increase, property tax didn't increase, increases rent and way. Seems about par for the course for landlords. I assume by landlord you're referring to the actual owner of a lodial title to a property which would be the government which collects property taxes on sections of earth they didn't create but either found or stole. Adam Smith, Landlords. One Smith was a silly head. Two landlords didn't exist back then nice fake anti-work quote. Not at all. They should be outlawed so that your only options are the government projects or an overpriced corporate commie block luxury apartment. My family is selling our five rental properties to developers who will bulldoze the $800 per month, 200k poop boxes and turn the land into more 700k McMansions that BlackRock can buy for cash. Hopefully this leads to more seething from the rentals. Biggest landlord is the government. Here in Canada we have literally millions of acres of wilderness land but we are unable to use it and are forced to participate in society. If they own a building that others are renting and handle all the building-specific stuff like maintenance and legal paperwork then they're providing work and specialized knowledge in return for money like any other productive member of society. If they own land that others are renting and make money just for being their first then no. You'll own nothing and you'll be happy. There's nothing wrong with renting out apartments, buying houses just to rent them out is another story. In my opinion, only when people aren't looking for a house in certain area and only want to live temporarily. Problem is that most people aren't in that position, they want a place to live and they want to own it. Landlords provide many underappreciated and often overlooked things. Yes, they make it easier to move places. Can you imagine if you had to wait to sell your house before moving to the next house? Is this an actual quote? I read about half of wealth of nations and though he obviously isn't too keen on landlords he's also scrupulously neutral in the way he phrases things. A lot of landlords earn that money to invest in a place for you to live by working a job just like everyone else. It's the Federal Reserve and immigration that causes unaffordable rent. Yeah, housing, is this a trick question? Landlords consume massive supply from available real estate and ensure that anyone trying to start a family is priced out forever. They're an important piece on the chessboard for the depopulation agenda. La anti-work. Always accuse your enemy of that which you are. Landlords vote progressive slash left consistently for obvious reasons. 
mass migration is a vital source of demand for housing for them and none of them want you to know this. Not to mention the climate crisis propaganda to prevent land development and the further supply of new housing. Half of you stupid heads associate landlords with trad right ring brothers when they're the literal people gushing in tsunami waves of brown people to keep the bubble afloat. That's why every single political headline always has commentary from BlackRock or some other shade of landlord fund. Landlords are the cultural Marxists they accuse you of being. It's honestly sad that silly heads fall for this asinine oldest trick in the book of pissing on your back and saying it's raining. I reckon they had better change their title. I can't imagine the Lord likes it that there are sinful humans calling themselves Lord. Almost certainly the title will go to their heads which will only cause a degeneration in their personality and therefore a loss for humanity. Why do you leftists keep taking Adam Smith out of context? The landlords he was talking about were people who didn't homestead their property and were granted massive amounts of land from the government. Land reform in this context is a very libertarian thing. And yes landlords provide housing, 35% of the housing stock was created from landlord capital. Land ownership had some value back when people built their own homes, now it's just about money. You pay to get people to build and the only other ways to get a house is to inherit, buy or be a bank. If I just gathered some lumber, went out in the middle of nowhere and spent a year with my blood sweat and tears building, not only would the government tax me for the land they would likely deem it unsafe and also suggest that I had no right to build a home in that location, among other things. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. Is this system fair? Even if you could beg the government for useless land it would likely be so far out that you'd struggle to maintain basics like water, hygiene and food. The whole government Ponzi scheme is based around your need to have a home. We're all trapped and there's nothing anyone can do short of burning it all to the ground. Adam Smith is obviously talking about the government here, e.g. property and local tax, and not landlords, e.g. people who have invested money into maintaining a property to rent out to live on. Every salesman will find 20 reasons why XYZ is good. You can't argue with this people it's just a show of force by clever manipulating words and deception. Exploiting people who can't afford houses is evil and that shouldn't be happening. You get profit that isn't based on work, it's based on exploiting weaker individuals who can't afford it, as simple as that. Dunno why you argue about racism, Trump and other mild issues every day of the week when a lot of can't afford a roof over our head? Seems stupid. Yeah shelter you idiot. They provide poor people with housing, we should be grateful. Get your own house if you don't want to rent, so simple, why tards don't understand. So what's the alternative government housing for the plebs and rich people owning property but not being able to rent it when not in use effectively leaving it useless? They absorb risk, my old building got firebombed by BLM and all I had to do was retrieve my fire safe and find a new place. My landlord had much more work to do and probably got effed. I just paid 20k for a repair on a brick wall in my rental condo, definitely won't be taking a profit this year. You think my tenant could slash would have paid for upkeep of that magnitude? There'd be no housing for the indolent indigent in the USA without private rentals of apartments it would have all crumbled to dust. They provide land. Yes, landlords of previous generations were sensible. They would find good tenants, foster a good relationship, not gouge them for money, eventually make large profit when selling the property down the line. Today's landlords are absolute Reddit and TikTok silly heads and zesty stacies that require everything to have a positive cash flow to fund their mismanaged lifestyle instead of actually understanding that real estate is a long-term investment not a means to pump the renters immediately. Providing capital to build the home. Or if he is buying someone else's house providing exit liquidity to the seller and assuming his risks of ownership. They facilitate the role of management. They're responsible for the occupation of the property, maintenance of the property and making sure that the government gets a cut of their taxes. Loaded question, it doesn't matter. What matters is personal finances and wealth, ergo providing value to the self. Society doesn't matter. By asking that question you're low-key endorsing socialism and theft of private property. Do you? Landlords normally receive and fulfill the responsibility of providing shelter and basic utilities. The idea is that you reallocate your responsibilities to the landlord. The troubles have to do with big corporate landlords who build up those wacky tacky crap apartment complexes and spoil the land for many others. I think we should fight against housing authorities, replace most housing regulations with incentive-based voluntary regulations and even let people live in dugout shelters on their own plot of land. I also support abolishing residential property taxes or at least setting a universal deduction to support small homeowners. Their value to society is inversely proportional to their collective power as a lobby and the collective value of their holdings. When they form a block they tend to extract from labor the resources required for its mobility and economic participation. Markets distorted this way tend toward luxury products, losing their economies of scale, and incentivized to industrialize all but the barest essentials. 
landlords are typically silly heads who only know how to roll the dollars they extract into more real estate and speculating on land. There's a reason things usually end in bloody revolt when landlords get their way for a few generations. Go be homeless and tell me if you lost anything of value. Only if they pay a land use tax, and they don't. Should you be able to rent single family dwellings to sublet at a profit? Should one be able to own multiple single family dwellings for profit? Should banks from the other side of the world be able to manipulate the resource upon which your citizens live and die?